Republican Senator Rand Paul is demanding former CIA chief John Brennan, who called President Donald Trump's remarks in his press conference with Russian President Vladimir Putin treasonous, lose his security clearance. In a series of tweets, Paul charged the former intelligence chief with making money off his clearance and said he would meet with President Trump on Monday to demand it be revoked. It's unclear what money Paul was referring to. Brennan is a paid contributor to NBC News, where he talks about national security issues. Paul's office did not respond to the DailyMail.com's request for comment. Is John Brennan monetizing his security clearance? Is John Brennan making millions of dollars divulging secrets to the mainstream media with his attacks on at Real and Al Trump? The senator tweeted Monday morning. He wrote in a later tweet, Today I will meet with the president and I will ask him to revoke John Brennan's security clearance Paul, a maverick GOP senator who does not always have the best relationships with the Republican Party or Trump, has emerged as one of the president's biggest champions on his meeting with Putin He also defended Trump's criticism of special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation telling CBS News, the president has gone through a year and a half of totally partisan investigations, what's he supposed to think the president tweeted is thanks to Paul in return. Paul plans to travel to Russia in early August on behalf of the administration, according to Politico. Share this article Share Brennan served as President Barack Obama's CIA director and left the job in January 2017 after Trump was inaugurated Since then he has become one of the president's harshest critics. A clearance requires a security clearance investigation completed within the past five years for a top secret clearance and 10 years for a secret clearance, according to the State Department website Given that Brennan left office about a year and a half ago, he could still have his clearance High-level officials also typically keep their clearances for years so they can provide counsel to their successors There are 13 guidelines that, if violated, could result in a security clearance being revoked They include criminal activity, sudden unexplained wealth, helping a foreign government, alcohol or drug addiction, and unauthorized disclosure of classified information Any president can classify or declassify information as he see fits. It's unclear if Trump could order Brennan's security clearance revoked without showing the former CIA chief has violated one of the guidelines Brennan soundly criticized Trump after his press conference with Putin in Helsinki last week, calling it nothing short of treasonous He also accused the president of being holy in the packet of Putin. Donald Trump's press conference performance in Helsinki rises to and exceeds the threshold of high crimes and misdemeanors It was nothing short of treasonous not only were Trump's comments imbecilic, he is wholly in the packet of Putin Republican patriots, where are you, tweeted Brennan He was expressing his fury that the president declined to back the U S. Intelligence Community's assessment that Russia interfered in the 2016 presidential election Putin denied Russia had any role in the election. Trump was asked if he believed his Russian counterpart or his intelligence chiefs. I don't see any reason why it would be Russia, the president said. I have great confidence in my intelligence people, he added, but I will tell you that President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today. And what he did is an incredible offer. 
he offered to have the people working on the case come and work with their investigators with respect to the 12 people. I think that's an incredible offer. The president later clarified his remarks to say he did believe intelligence assessments that Russia meddled in the 2016 contest. Trump also fired back at Brennan, slamming him in an interview with Fox News Channel sticker Carlson. I think Brennan is a very bad guy, and if you look at it, a lot of things happened under his watch, Trump told Carlson. I think he's a very bad person. Brennan has not held back in the harsh language he uses to describe the president. In June op-ed he wrote for the Washington Post, Brennan called Trump a snake oil salesman who has shown mean-spirited, malicious, and highly abnormal behavior. Trump fired back then too. He attacked Brennan on Twitter after the op-ed appeared, quoting a former Secret Service agent who appeared on Fox and & Friends and called Brennan a liar.